All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sid Shalom. to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. As you can see, uh, this uh, article, it says Trump's plans to cut food stamps could hit his supporters hardest. Okay. Um, I'm going to read the article. It says President Trump's anticipated cuts to the supp supplemental nutrition assistance uh, program, uh, better known as SNAP or uh, uh, food stamps, um, will likely be felt most in regions of the country with chronic high rates of unemployment from the rural rural southeast to aging manufacturing towns of Indian reservations. People in those regions are temporarily exempt from national work requirements for the SNAP program because there are not enough jobs there for everyone who wants one. And a lot of people that I know personally, you know, I don't want no job, man. You don't. Know? I don't know nobody who really you know, one of the work that is getting these benefits, man. They try their best to uh, to stay under the radar as much as they possibly can, okay? Um, it says, but there is a growing anticipation that the budget is to be uh, unre unveiled on Tuesday could incorporate proposals drafted by the Conservative Heritage Foundation that will eliminate and curtail the unemployment rate uh, waivers. That means the federal government could cut off assistance to unemployed adults who live in areas where few jobs are available. The areas would likely include Southern and Central California, where the unemployment rate can spike as high as 19%, as well as cities such as Detroit and Scranton, uh, Pennsylvania, where joblessness remains rampant. The change will also affect numerous counties in Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Louisiana, according to anti-poverty advocates who were familiar with budget discussions with the administration. Okay? So basically, Trump is about to, uh, they say Trump is expected to Proposed cutting as much as 25% of the program's funding over 10 years, which would go far beyond, far, far, far beyond past House Republican House Republican uh, proposals, and require far more than action snap unemployed adults. And the way he's moving, you know, uh, Trump, uh, the way he's moving, man, he's he's moving fast, man. Okay. But with that said, a lot of the uh, the uh, the the food stamps, you know, that is going to is going to get cut, okay? And you're going to have a lot of people who who aren't who, who's going to be uncomfortable, you know, because they don't know what the heck uh, what the heck to uh, to do, okay? People aren't going to know how to. Uh, to maintain um, getting food, you know, because they rely so much on the government. Okay, um, this is Isaiah thirty nine and I mean thirty two and nine. Okay, and the thing is, first off, I'm gonna get this scripture, man, because the the Bible gives an explanation about everything that is happening, man. Why, why we're in this predicament that we're in today, okay, which is the curses. Why the heck do we even have to go through the government, okay, in order to get food and water and stuff like that, okay? The Bible explains all this, okay, that how the natural resources are being uh, controlled, okay, by the banks and everything, okay, which America works for the banks, okay, but... The thing is that a lot of uh, your pastors or people who pick up the Bible 
are supposed to, to tell you what the heck is going on, man. And they're not doing it. This is Isaiah 30 and, and 7. For the Egyptians shall help in vain. And the word Egypt is in the Greek it stands for uh it stands for um bondage. Okay. It says, and to no purpose, therefore have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. Okay? And and when this 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 uh proposal or when this this full stamp and the you know the financial um structure of America falls, a lot of people aren't going to know what to do. Okay, but America is going to create this problem. But they already have the um the 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 strategy set already before they do anything. Okay. They're going to create the problem and they're going to come with the solution, okay? And, and um, they they have these executive orders, okay? Like this executive order, thirteen six sixty three, I mean six hundred and three. The National Defense Resources Pre Preparedness Executive Order is an order of the United States, uh, of the order United of the United States President signed. By President Obama on March 16th, 2012, the purpose of this executive order is to delegate authority and address national defense resource policies and programs under the Defense Pro Production Act of 1950. Um, this executive order provides the framework and authority for the allocation and appropriation of resources, materials, and services to promote national defense. Because when this thing happens, okay, the financial uh, collapse come, okay, um, you're going to have a lot of people that aren't going to know what to do. But the government is going to take control, okay, and, and, and you know, they got the, the, the power, okay, they're not going to have to go out there and uh, really, you know, because, uh, hey, they, you already got people who, who uh, you know, are already in the system. The government ain't going to have to to, to uh, go out here and really uh, fight people, you know, necessarily because they already, they already got people in the trick bag, you know. They already know, like, I can just tell them that... Um, I'm going to take their food stamps away from them, and that's going to get them in that, that mindset that, hey, we, we need you guys, so we're going to come to you, so to say. But you're going to have people out here that are going to um, try to fight back and, you know, different things like that, and there's going to be a lot of bloodshed out here, okay? So their strength is to sit still. It says, now go right it before them in the table and noted in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a re rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Okay, which is talking about you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, predominantly, you you people who, who are predominantly the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in America, y'all are... The children of Israel, the Lord's chosen people, but y'all don't want to listen to who who y'all are. Y'all don't want to listen to the law, okay? Y'all y'all get these food stamps and y'all go buy crabs and uh, cold cuts and all type of pork and stuff like that, man. Okay, y'all y'all rely too much on um on on the uh the American system, man. Okay, y'all don't trust in the Lord. Y'all don't have faith, but y'all go to these churches all the time and y'all believe the Bible, but y'all don't want to apply it. Okay, it says, "What say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Prophesy, I mean, speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Get out of the way. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the holy one of Israel to cease from before us." Okay, and you ain't going to be able to stop the Holy One of Israel from, from, from ceasing before y'all, man. Okay? Because the Lord's word went out, 
okay, and it's not one we turn back on to and void, okay? The Lord said that he was going to do these things, and, and, and it's not, he, he ain't, you ain't going to be able to change that, man. You can't change the prophecies that are written in the scriptures. Like, the Lord said that, that he was going to put um, us in the, uh, the slavery, you know, with slave ships. And it happened according to the scriptures and according to history. And nobody was able to change that, okay? Um, so your pastors are supposed to tell you that these times are coming, okay? Um, Isaiah 32 and 9, rise up, you women that are at ease, okay? You, you know, yeah, independent women, okay? That, that feel as though they don't need a man for anything like that, okay? And then you got the women that are comfortable being on Section 8, which a lot of them quote unquote call themselves independent you know they got the independence card you know but really they just rely on the government and the financial structure if you take away the financial structure of america you really don't have shit man okay it says rise up you women that are at ease okay hear my voice you careless daughters give ear unto my speech okay and if you give ear unto the lord's speech we're not going to be speaking on to uh smooth things okay we're not gonna be prophesying deceits on to you man okay you, you a lot of women israelite women are on food stamps they get food stamps okay and that and you get ch you have children and stuff and you ain't gonna be able to feed your children man okay it says many days and years shall you be troubled you careless woman for the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. You know, all these women want to uh, post pictures of, of drinking wine, you know, loving the the the, uh, the things that money can buy in, in this society. Okay, they sell their, their uh, food stamps for, uh, for, for uh, money, you know, to try to get hair for their head and, you know, other type of things, you know. Um, when your children be needing it the most and stuff. So, hey, growing up, I had that 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 end of the month struggle when it was you know you get food stamps and then at the end of the month you really couldn't uh you really you, you had to try to make ends meet okay making wish sandwiches and uh using the the, the craziest part of the bread and stuff like that. You know, whatever you can scramble up in the in the kitchen, you had to do that, man. Even when people have food stamps, man. So imagine what's going to happen now, man. Okay, you're gonna have a lot of people that 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 are going to run to the government, you know, to get that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, because they don't have faith in the Lord. Okay, um, I, Ezekiel, uh, five and thirteen. Thus shall mine anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted. Okay, when when the uh, Egyptians, the, the 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 police, and all these uh, the nat the uh, national guard and stuff like that, you know they're gonna the Lord is gonna put put his fury on them. Okay, and and he's gonna he gonna be comfortable com com comforted when when a lot of people out here are getting getting destroyed, man. Which is the, the Lord's sword, okay? Um, and they so they so know that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal. When I have accomplished my fury and them, moreover, I will make you waste in a reproach among the nations that are round about you in the sight of all that pass by. So it shall be a reproach and taunt, and instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about you. When I shall ex execute judgments in in you, in anger and in fury and furious rebukes, I the Lord have spoken it. Okay, so so a carnal a carnal person ain't gonna get it. You know, a carnal person is not gonna understand, but a spiritual person is gonna understand that the Lord ain't too happy with with you Israelites, man. You you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, the Lord ain't happy with y'all. Okay. It says, when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, 
which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall bereave you, and pestilence and blood shall pass through you, and I will bring the sword upon you, I the Lord have spoken it. Okay? And this is going to happen again, man, in the, in the near future, man. Okay? Uh, the Lord is going to bring a, a, a famine onto, uh, onto this, this place, man. Okay? And um, he's going to use the so-called white man to, to do this, man, because it's going to be, you know, mostly a man-made famine. Okay? And the ones that, that, that aren't the Lord's uh, chosen people, they're not going to eat. Okay? According to the scriptures. The they're going to be crying, man. Okay? Babies are going to be crying. You know, people are going to be in FEMA camps. You know? Because as you see, as this executive order said, uh, they're going to control the resources, the materials, and the services. Okay? Everything that you people uh, uh, wish for, man, or, or hope for, man, wake up for and, and love, man. You know, the government is going to control all that, which they already do, but it, they're going to take co complete authority over it, okay? Um, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, okay, which a person that, that is of the Lord is going to, you know, they're going to realize that, hey, the Lord is going to get Trump or whoever else is with with this, this bullshit, you know, this system, okay, the Lord is going to destroy them, man. Okay, he's going to recompense tribulation onto them, man, for troubling his people. Okay, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. Okay, to the ones that, that, that maybe, I don't know how the heck I'm going to eat my, my you know, they're taking the full steps and, you know, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. Well, the scriptures say the ones, the ones of y'all that do feel that way and y'all spiritual, y'all have... Some type of spirituality with y'all, man. Okay? You you can rest with us and say when the Lord, Yahweh, which his name is not Jesus, man. Okay? It says when the Lord, Yahweh, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flaming fire, which the Lord is going to destroy this place with nuclear fire. Okay? And the chariots, when he come back, okay, taking vengeance on them that know not God. Okay, Yahweh, Bahasim Yahweh Shah. Okay, he, the Lord is going, Yahweh Shah is going to come back. He's going to take vengeance on the ones that don't know Yahweh, the Most High. Okay, that don't really know the God, God, and that obey not our gospel, uh, not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Okay, so when he comes back, the ones who don't know God. Okay, are these so-called Edomites? Okay, well, Edomites, the so-called white people, predominantly, and and the ones that obey not the gospel, the ones that act, that have the chance of of waking up and and getting it, are you Israelites, man? The ones that that are not listening, the Lord is going to take vengeance on you, man. Okay, um, so with that, man, um, this this place is about to go, man. Okay. We almost out of here. The the the, the, the elect is, you know, uh, almost sealed. Okay, the ones that are that are meant to get it are, are getting it. Okay, so to say, and um, pretty much that's pretty much it, man. So with that, I want to say salawam.